Hello everyone, welcome back to our first stream of 2018. I hope you all had a great holiday break. I know that you've been missing us desperately in these last few weeks, <laughs> uh, but we are back and better than ever. We have a lot of awesome things coming up too for the stream, so we're excited about that. Um, yeah, so this week we are playing a, we, we are trying to give ourselves, uh, what do you call that? Redemption. Redemption, yes. For uh, this game, this awesome game about being a fighter fighter called Flashpoint, the object of the game. Hello, Hello. Hero Logic. Hello. Hello. We are live, yes. We're only 15 minutes late, which is actually impressive uh, given that we have a bunch of new equipment that mostly Slaughter is familiar with compared to the rest of us. And Slaughter's not here tonight, so we're producing on our own. And we got it all set up. Uh, and I think it looks pretty good given uh, that we're only 15 minutes late. So we're we're excited to be back. It's and 2018. I, I have a surprise. About? <gasps> my four month anniversary. Four month oh resub Um And Amazing. Steve is awesome, I agree with that. Can we get some Borgie fails in chat? Steve? <laughs> I don't even know. You don't even know? I, I can do that. You should be able to. Here we go. There's a bunch of Borgie fails. Yay! Play without Slaughter, we miss Slaughter desperately. We do. Still enjoying But Slaughter will be back next week, and it'll be amazing. Mm -hmm. It'll be even more amazing next week, which we'll talk about later. Um, mm. So, yeah, it's 2018. It's 2018. Are you guys pretty excited? We have a great uh, lineup of games of the month, I think. Oh, yeah. It's going to be great. Um, and we're playing a co op game, which is my favorite. Well, mm -hmm. I don't know. I would say party and co op are kind of my thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I see, I hate playing strategy games with engineers because <laughs> I don't have much to contribute. But I mean, you finally ran Ian off of the stream. They so. ran Ian off. <laughs> we need to get Ian back in 2018. That's my yeah. that's my New Year's resolution is get Ian back. On uh, donation stream. goal: get Ian back on stream. <laughs> <laughs> Bri give us enough to bribe Ian, which is not a, not not a, a low cost. Yeah, it's uh, true. Ian, Ian will crunch the numbers and min max what his time is worth. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> So yes, we had a great co-op game. This game is about being firefighters. It's about saving victims uh, before uh, what you can only lose so many victims, and then you, the house could burn down. So uh, it's a race against the the proverbial clock. It's a game. Of, it's a game with action, adventure, heartbreak, uh, love. The, it, Yes. Fire. I mean, there, Fire. Is, there is there is Explosions. love. Explosions. Explosions. I mean, Charmin's heart was literally broken last time we played. We are here tonight to avenge yeah. the spirit of Charmin's kitty that Here's died the thing, tragically last, in the fire. Last game we played this, one of these victims, I think, do we flip them over? Or no, we you don't even know. One of them's yeah. a cat, and Charmin decided that it was more important to try to save the cat than to... Um, do what was the best move for the team. <laughs> and then she ended up not saving the cat anyway. We did not save the cat. I, I think we eventually convinced her to stop doing that. That's and, right. And then the cat died and then we died. So Yeah, that's what it was. Uh, not not the best way to, to end that game. Yeah. Um, so for those of you who have not uh, played this game before, did not see the last time uh, we streamed it, this game, Flashpoint, uh, each of us is a firefighter. Uh, and as firefighters, we have slightly different abilities, uh, but we more or less have the same set of actions that we can take on a turn. Um, we're going to try and move through the house, extinguishing the fire as it spreads, and also uh, rescuing the people. Um, and I think our camera's frozen, as I just found out. Uh, we're gonna be rescuing the people on the board, oh, which you can't see yet, uh, and going to basically get the victims uh, out of the house. <coughs> All right, we're gonna turn this off real quick. You guys didn't see anything. And we're back. Ta-da, look at all the stuff that just appeared on the screen. <laughs> it's a magical, magical miracle. All right, so uh, as you can see, we have these question marks on the board. There are three of them. Uh, it's where we think we hear a victim in the house, uh, but we won't know until we reach that uh... square that they're in if it's actually a victim or if it's just a no. mirage. Yeah that we're hearing in the fire. <laughs> um, and then if we get a victim, we can carry them back out. And we try and take them to our ambulance. We will have an ambulance. Our way ambulance. And a, and a fire truck that will be going around the outside of the house to help us out. 
uh, and we basically win if we get uh, a certain number of victims out of the house before the house burns down. Um, that's more or less the goal of the game. All right, the game, we win when we have rescued, I believe, seven victims. Yes, seven what victims. Track that? Is it like a tracker on the building? Uh, you put the victims that you've saved up here, I think? Yeah, I'll okay. you put them in the safe spot. Uh, all right, so uh, we're not gonna go in depth into all of the rules right off the bat. We're going to actually uh, play through uh, and let you guys learn as we go so that we can jump right into the game. Uh, so the first thing that we have to do is we have to figure out uh, where each of us wants to start and where the uh, ambulance and the fire truck are going to start. Now the ambulance and the fire truck have spaces on the outside that they must start in, uh, which you can see here. Mm -hmm. um, there we go. And we can choose any of those spots to start with them. Uh, and then I believe we can start on any space on the outside of the house. Um, so go starting near an open door is usually a pretty good idea. Um, I think we should start the ambulance right where you are because there's a victim right there. Awesome. Potentially. Um, we should probably talk really briefly about what characters we're playing as we try and uh, strategize. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'll start. Uh, I am playing the generalist who has no special abilities or actions, but instead just gets five action points. Action points being the things that you spend in order to uh. <laughs> uh, do things. So... I am a little bit more efficient at doing things generally, but don't have any specialty. I'm gonna take, my, these are the action points, right? Yeah. Nice. Um, we, or, those uh, are, oh, these no, are just those, strictly those are, banked the, action points. Yeah, those are action points okay. that you get from banking them. Though sure. if you wanna have the pile by you, that's, or some of the pile. So okay. actually, I didn't know the generalist actually had any distinguishing properties. I thought yeah, the like, generalist oh, gets like, extra action points added. and that's so it. So he yeah. actually has a thing. No, he, yeah. Mm -hmm. He's actually really useful because we only have three of us, so mm -hmm. we need, we're not gonna have a lot of special abilities, so we need somebody who's like just good at everything. So I am the CA CAFS, C -A -F -S, the CAFS specialist. The CAFS firefighter. Mm -hmm. I get three uh, free extinguished AP. Um, nice. They cannot be saved. So basically, you're gonna be the person who just goes around extinguishing fire all the time. Because well, I only can... get three of them. But, but yes. in addition to your actions, which you can also spend on extinguishing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, so, that means you can spend all your action points moving, so you can run to the fire and then extinguish a bunch, whereas we yeah. are limited in that. Um, mm -hmm. I am the hazback technician, which is great. Uh, I have four action points, and for two of them, I can do an action called dispose, which removes a hazmat in your space from the game. Now, normally, uh, I believe hazmats have to be carried out of the house um, like victims. Um, and if they get caught on fire, then they explode and bad shit happens. Yeah. So, did we explain how the board works? Uh, we'll we'll explain how the board, how fire spreads and stuff when we get. Yeah, to that well, point. just like the, the beginning. So the the way the board is set up in the in the board ah, yes. we played is it's all semi random. I think there was one I had to put it in a certain row. I think this row, but everything else here is random. So each time you play, it's kind of a different yeah. puzzle. To figure out, you there are two dice that you roll uh, that only Joel can reach right now. Um, <laughs> They're there. That determine uh, the row and column that things go in. And uh, so you start with fire, which are these big fire tokens, hot spots, which are the small tokens. Uh, the doors just go on every door, uh, all doors are shut by default, I believe. Uh, the victims are randomized, and then the hazmat uh, is also randomized. La 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 Lina, welcome! Joel, Joel, Joel OPOP. OP. OP. You know it. It's true. Uh, IRL, so, though. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I don't know where Steve wants to start. I just put Steve here because that's where the victim is. Um, There's also a victim right by that door. Well, that's what Joel's going to do. Yeah. <clears throat> Alternatively, you could go straight for fire and start putting it out, but... If there's a victim right there... Yeah, I'm going to go for the there. victim first. Uh, there are two hazmats by that door, so I started myself over here. Makes sense. Um, which seems... One is on a hot spot, by the way, so... Yeah, so hot spots are not on fire, but if they become on fire, they spawn even more fire. So mm. they're pretty bad. They're pretty gnarly. And we have six of them, which is a crazy high amount. 
Um, yeah, so each of the initial fire spaces is a permanent hotspot, and then we add three more. Do the hotspots stay there for the game? Yes, they um, never mm -hmm. go away. Okay. Yeah, and you can create new ones, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so we the next thing we need to do is figure out who goes first. Um, I think probably Joel should go first so we can immediately get a victim and then the, and the victim we'll find potential out two of the victim we'll find out two potential victims right away and then I'll go in and clean hazmat yeah how does um, chop work by the way ah so chop is used for like chopping down a door or chopping I believe through a wall mm -hmm. um, so basically you can create new paths through the house mm -hmm. um, that said you can just open and close a door for one action point, and that seems better usually. Mm -hmm. um, but if you need to go through a wall to get out, because there's no door right oh, anymore, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. you can chop through a wall um, mm -hmm. for two action points. Um, and I believe it puts one it puts a black mark yeah. on the wall, mm -hmm. and you need two black marks to be able to, or two black cubes to be able to pass through. Mm -hmm. So but that also brings the house closer to yes. falling down. So we should probably talk about the way that we lose, the building can collapse if all 24 damage markers have been placed on the board. So basically if the building takes so much damage from these black cubes um, that yep. they have all been used, then we lose. And we can damage it personally by chopping through and the building damages itself due to explosions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so why don't we go ahead and have Joel start. All right, so I am just going to take one step in uh, and I am going to check out what this is. This is a, a guy. Wow. So, uh, Wait, he was right there? Yeah. He was just he right in front right of the next door. to the door. Dang. Handy. All right. So I am going to... pick to, him up. Uh, it's not an action to pick him up, I he think, did. but it's just that I can use two actions then to move... Yeah, it, you move space slower. With him. Oh, yeah. yeah, got it. So that brings him out. So we're playing with the ambulance here, which I don't think that we played with... Oh, did we the place the ambulance? That's something we needed to do. Uh, yeah, we purposely placed it there. So you need to ha haul the victims to the ambulance, is that correct? correct? Yep. Okay. So basically, uh, the as one of your moves, you can drive the ambulance or... Oh, we forgot to put the fire truck. Uh, mm -hmm. I would recommend here yeah. because that's where there's fire and sure. Steve's probably going to end up down there at some point. Sure. Uh, well, actually, no. Steve's probably going to bring his victim back here. So mm -hmm. in case you need the fire truck, I'm going to leave it for you. So can I first put time, the victim in the fire truck as well? No. You can only put the victim in the ambulance, but you can put yourself in the fire truck and then drive the fire truck the as victim. a way no no. Oh okay. As a way to move yourself faster. We'll have to drive the ambulance around to pick up your victim. But once the victim's outside the house, uh, it's fine. You so know? does the drive just move it to the next like an adjacent? Yep, yep exactly. Okay. So you drive twice and it goes to the opposite side of the board. Okay. How do you and how do they clear, we clear the victim? Just putting them in the ambulance, they get cleared. Okay. So we already did. So it. that victim immediately goes to the safe space. So the first time I played this game, I think it was sufficient just to get the victims out of the house. Yeah, I think you were. Reason. There's a family version of the game that I think maybe Dang. doesn't use the ambulances. Um, all right, so saving a victim. I'm trying to figure out when we replenish the victims because it's been a bit. I thought it was game. immediately, but maybe. Uh, no, we replenish them <clears throat> after we advance fire. So, have you used all of your action points? No, I order? have not. I still have two remaining okay. actually. So um, I'm just going to take a couple steps back inside. Can the you house. move the ambulance as part of your? Oh, I could. I could move the ambulance back around. So you, oh, I may have. Yeah. In fact, right if there. you want to move with the ambulance because you're on the spot, you could drive yourself around to the other door. Sure. And but I don't have to do that. Correct. But do you want to be in that part of the building um, where you're at now, or do you? Maybe, want to maybe not, because there could just be another like. Yeah. Uh, it, it seems reasonable to spot. go fight those fires, though. Sure. Um, so and, we'll use my remaining two yeah. actions to come over here. Great. Why did it take two? Because uh, that's what it drive is. Drive costs oh, okay. two. And there's there's a character who can drive. Mm -hmm. And as an action, you can actually swap out a uh, crew if you wanted to get a different one. But Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah, it's all, it's listed as crew <clears> change <throat> on your <throat> actions list. All right, so now we advance fire. So you roll both of those dice to figure out where smoke uh, goes up. So right. three and three. It's going to be right here. Right there. So you put a smoke token down. And that is it. Um, uh, and then we re replace uh, the Vix, right? 
Yes, now you roll to see where the new victim is, or the new person of interest. Four and six over here. Wow, that could not nice. be easier. That's great. <clears throat> All right, easy. Uh, so we've advanced fire, and I don't think anything changes. Um, yeah, we don't have to. We don't. Ha we didn't trigger a flare up. Mm -hmm. We don't have to worry about hazmats. Great. Yep. So turn passes. Yep. Steve next. Steve, you are up. That's it. That's that's. We just explained like ninety percent of the game right yep. there. That's the rest. I don't roll. <laughs> yeah, you don't. Roll. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> I'm so you just take your turn. Um, okay. So uh, moving is one. So I guess I'll do one. Do I have to be on the same space to flip yes. them? So you could either spend your whole turn getting to them to flip them, or you could maybe like go open this door and end your turn because that if, if, that, if that fire flares up, that victim's gonna die, um, mm. which could be bad. What is the actual action called to flip? It's called there. No, you just land on the space. You automatically flip them. Well, I could flip. Then I could flip right. That's what I say. You could flip this one, or you could go one, two, and open the door so that next turn you could <laughs> flip both of them. But I don't think I'd save anything. Like I would at least rather know is it even worth ignoring. I mean, but well, my, what I'm arguing is that this one is next to fire, so it's more important to try to clear, whereas that one's safe right now. Fine. I mean, you can do either way. I'm I'm just I'm just offering an alternative suggestion. Well, I can't save it anyway. Like, there's nothing I can really do. It, but at least this way, you can get to it faster next turn, right? But if that explodes, that guy's that victim's dead anyway. Right. But if it doesn't explode, on, it's by having terribly likely to by having the door open, if the victim survives on your next turn, you can move for one and then move back for two and pull the victim to safety if it's a real victim. Fine. Right. It's open. Um, that that's that's kind of the thought here. Okay. So now I. Um, yeah, so now you roll, if you want to roll it where they can see it. Uh, seven, two. So two and seven. Okay, so that's going to be a flare-up. Er, uh, no, no, it's no, not no. quite. But it is a smoke, and because smoke, it when smoke appears next to fire, it, it immediately becomes, becomes fire. fire. Mm -hmm. So that sucks. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, Joel's right there. Awesome. How convenient. Use the fire truck. Good call. Uh, all right, so I'm going to go in. For my first action, I'm going to do this. For my section action, I'm going to dispose of this hazmat because fuck that. <laughs> and then for my third action, I am going to. Is that to one move, action for you? Uh, it's two action points, but I have four. So mm -hmm. I could move, dispose, and move. And I'll be able to do that again next turn. Uh, All right. So let's go ahead and roll for these flare ups. Five, four, right next to me. All right. So, so next to a hot spot, is it still smoke? Yeah. Hot. The hot spots only matter if you roll the exact hot spot number. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what triggering a hot spot does is it causes a flare up, which is another roll of the dice. Mm -hmm. okay. So it actually doesn't matter if the hot spot has fire on it or not. If you roll the hot spot, it causes a second roll of the dice. Mm -hmm. In addition to doing whatever would happen on the space where the hot spot is. Uh, all right. So. All right. Moving on in. All right, so that door is open already. So I'm just gonna go and probably extinguish these fires. So I'm gonna take a step in and extinguish this. Yep, and I think, two I don't think you can do it diagonally. So I think you have to move again. Uh, extinguish in space or adjacent space. Yeah, so I think adjacent well, what, space is just adjacency. cardinal directions. I will double check. You uh, didn't do it diagonally though, what do you mean? No, I, we're talking about- we're Talking about the next one to see if he has to adjacent, I think adjacent spaces are, are North, south, east, yeah. west. Yeah. Uh, okay. Extinguish. That seems OP. It just it's says angry. adjacent space. There's um, a whole rule set on what adjacent means. Mm -hmm. Okay. I. That's called. I think it's the beginning. It's called like adjacent spaces. Ah uh, yes. Up, down, left, or right. Diagonal is not adjacent. Sure. So so that's what fine. I can do is, you is I can way. just move one, and I can like half extinguish this to smoke. Which is also useful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay. All right. Um, roll the oh. dice. We gotta see what happens. Well, the, here's where the here's where this game gets really two stinky, is that every time we take one person's turn, we have to add more smoke or fire. So it, mm -hmm. things start to build up, things start to cascade. We got really lucky with the early layout the of the yeah. victims, but it's mm -hmm. going to get worse fast. All right, all right, Steve. Please be a victim. I hope it's Charmin's cat. Ooh. Nope. 
It's a person. Yay, we saved them. Well, temporarily. That's it for me. Yeah. Uh, dice. Can you hand mm-hmm. the dice? Okay, let's see. We're doing well so far. 7-2. Mm. Uh-oh. That sounds familiar. Oh, that becomes, that fire. becomes fire. So anytime Is that you, it? Yeah, if you <clears> roll <throat> smoke, it becomes fire. If you roll something that's already fire, it blows bad up. shit happens, and we'll it's we'll talk about that. It explodes. It'll explode. All right, uh, I am going to extinguish this smoke for one action point. Mm-hmm. Then I'm going to move over here, and with my last two, I'm going to dispose of another hazmat. Okay, and the hotspot was here, yeah. Yes, the hotspot okay. is on me. Uh, great. And now I roll the dice. Mm-hmm. I'm just focusing on hazmat because it's what I do. Two, six, six. Right. Wow. They well, just they keep they keep right giving themselves. To what if it me? lands on you? It just I'm in smoke. I okay. can be, oh, you in, can be smoke. in smoke. You just can't. If yeah. you're in fire, you get knocked out. Yeah. If it if I get on fire, then I get knocked down. Mm-hmm. I believe you can even walk. You can you walk, can walk through, through smoke fire. whenever you want. Even fire. You don't have to roll yet. Oh, yeah, right. I, I take my turn first. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, uh, you can move to a space with fire for two action points. Oh, really? So, <laughs> yeah, it costs nothing to move to smoke. Uh, you cannot carry victims through fire, but you can carry them through smoke. Okay. For the same price. Yeah, so I'm going to price. extinguish this fire for two actions, and I'm going to open a door for two actions. And uh, Opening doors is just one action. Oh, that's just one action. Excellent. So you can move uh, if you'd like. One. So I'm going to... I'm going to... Four actions? Sorry? Was that four? That was a fourth action, and I'm actually going <gasps> to bank my... Tiakra! Hello! Tiakra, whoa! Thank you for thank the, the six-month six uh, prime resub. That's some real dedication. Like you know what months. else is six months today? What? My tenure at Twitch. Wow! wow. <laughs> so basically, every Wait, time Tiakra resubs, it's in celebration of you being at Twitch. <laughs> and if he ever doesn't resub... Uh, then he's then you got fired. No. <laughs> That's true. And then I got fired. Yeah. The the, the day that Joel quits is the day Fiacra stops, stops resubbing. <laughs> How Thank are you, you Fiacra? Thank you so much, Fiacra. Thanks for joining us. Uh, anyhow, I feel uh, I feel unsafe in this environment too because the building is literally on fire. It's not safe. I'm going to. to uh, refrain from moving into a position where this fire could burst yep. and uh, harm me, so I'm just going to thank you. Thank you, one. Instead. Nice. Yeah, so uh, <clears throat> for those of you who don't know how that works, basically, if you ever don't spend action points in a turn, you can take one of those little tokens that you can't mm-hmm. see off camera right now, um, but you can place them basically on your character or whatever, uh, and you can spend them as extra action points later. Uh, there is a limit to how many you bank, I think, but I don't remember. It what was it like is. five or something. It's yeah, it's, like, it's, it's like a turn's worth. Yeah. Oh, you think it's limited by? Well, that would be interesting, I guess. I mean, go ahead and go ahead and. Roll anyway, okay, for yeah, the we'll turn. The I'm gonna look this up while you guys. Play it right now. Uh, we are one good. and, and four. Oh, look at that! Oh shit! Made the right call. All right, so this thing it's is gonna exploded. explode. All right, I so, it and it was on a hot spot. Well. And it was on a hot spot. All right, so we'll we'll do the explode first. So, advancing fire when you roll on fire, mm-hmm. um, then you've mm-hmm. caused an explosion. Mm-hmm. Um, explosion radiates in all four directions. You mm-hmm. place a fire. You place a fire in each adjacent space without fire, or smoke becomes fire. So, mm-hmm. fire spreads. Any wall. And this door is going. Any end. door just immediately gets removed. It's gone. No, it's, it's, it's gone. not even oh, it's open. Gone. It's just gone. Okay. It got blown up. Sure. Uh, and cool. the wall takes one damage marker. There. Not that one. The oh, wall. sorry. The wall yeah. takes a damage marker. Yeah. Now that's just an open doorway. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah. But the, re- the reason that they... Why does that have two blocks on it, though? Um, I think that's like, alternatively, you could play the game where you say this is not a door, and then it's mm. like, you can oh. put blocks on it oh, okay. as a wall, right? Mm. It, I don't know. It's some weird symbology. It's not relevant. <laughs> to what Excuse we're doing me. Right sorry. Now. It's so. important. Like, but I can still move through here. Yes, it's, it's still an open doorway. Mm-hmm. You just can't close the door. Is the thing. <laughs> um, you have to. Oh, you roll. Being able to close doors is nice because it contains a fire and the door absorbs mm-hmm. some damage for you. Okay. I am going to. <clears throat> we're doing good, Fiaka. I only have three moves. There's no way to optimize it. I might go see what the other thing is. 
That so seems reasonable. And if then I drag it out, I can just do yeah. something else. Yeah. So move over here. We got a oh another victim. And then you could move them. I'll pull them down. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was pretty. Yeah. Good. Yeah. I don't know what else sense. to do. Like uh -huh. I have to do that anyway. Yeah. Makes sense not to put them here because if the fire spreads, then that's bad. Yeah. All okay. Right. Uh, let's roll the dice. I'm gonna wash my hands. My chips. I can't use it, and I want to use it. Uh, six, six four. Six four. That's up by me again. And it's a. F oh, we forgot to handle your flare up. Oh yes, Shit. that's true. So right, I was so supposed we'll, to roll again. Yeah. I don't. Hopefully it won't matter, but yeah. we'll undo your turn really quick. Uh, uh, so three three. Uh, that so would that be smoke, a smoke just that became fire. fire. Okay. All right. So that's and it. Then... So now Steve takes his turn. He rolled a six four. And he rolled and the hot which spot. is here, which, which is, is another hot spot. Yeah. So put a smoke token there, and then we'll, Steve will roll again for the flare up. This is how it starts to get really crazy. Six six. That's uh, on a victim. On a victim. It's smoke though, but that means I really need to go save them. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, I'm gonna go wash my hands. But right. great. Um, so my turn was going to be Here's to extinguish one. that smoke, but. Clearly, good. Uh, yeah, Actually, good. another one of these. Okay. All right. Um, clearly, I should spend. I think I should spend my entire turn going one, two, three, four, because I want to get to this victim as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. um, all right. So let's go ahead and roll. See what happens. Six four. Uh oh. That's bad. What do we got? Six, four. That just became smoke and another flare up. Oh boy. <clears throat> a one, six. That's right here. Right where your doorway is. Oh, that's, uh, but smoke. yeah, there's a wall here. Yep. So, yeah. yeah, so the other thing that we haven't talked about yet is that if smoke spawns next to fire, it immediately becomes fire. No, that happened once before already. Oh, did it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, now it is my turn. Uh, yes, yes it is. You're gonna have a busy turn. <laughs> no kidding. Uh, so I'm going to spend two and two. Uh, and you have what? We'll two just... actions left. Yeah. So you could clear the smoke by. The I can take a step and go half. Or hour. you could take. Hey, I just saw that you were all. Oh, did we already talk about that? Yes. Hello, Waze Coggin. Waze Coggin, welcome. We did not talk about that yet. We are hmm? all Twitch staff. Yes. Yeah, so we. Uh, we are actually in the Twitch office right now, uh, <laughs> and this this entire channel started out of uh, the fact that as Twitch employees we have you know obviously a very heavy gamer culture, uh, but we have a lot of people at the office who really love board games. We have a board game night every week, and we thought, hey, uh, you know, a year and a half ago we were like, hey, wouldn't it be cool if since we're already getting together regularly to play board games, uh, we you know, what if we streamed from the office, because we're in the office, we're playing board games, let's have mm -hmm. a stream at the same time, and this channel was born. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we've been doing this for, work. wow, we're gonna have our two year in like months, yeah. two Ooh. months. Um, that's any, crazy, three any months. Any chance to get off your help by email? To be honest, the, some of the best tutorials in getting getting started on your channel have already been created, they're on YouTube. They're made by other, yeah. you know, already popular More streamers. streamers than us. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's YouTube guides, there's like the Twitch subreddit is a good place to go for advice yeah. if you have questions about anything specific. Yeah. There's a whole community there that'll be glad to help you yeah. out. But that said, if you want to ask specific questions in chat, we're happy to answer them while we're here streaming. Um, we, you know, we love talking about the challenges of streaming, uh, especially for streaming board games. Yeah, do like, you want to stream board games or um, video games? Because that's like know, a... It's different. I mean, there there's a lot of similarities for setting up just a channel in general, but, um, you know, we're, our expertise is really in how to stream board games, um, and there are better resources for just starting general channels uh, mm -hmm. on the internet by people who are doing this full time. Um, but either way, please... Uh, ask your questions if you have any specific ones that you want to ask us in chat because we are we're happy to answer them. Is it back to um, me? I believe. Uh, did you I just roll took a yet? turn. Uh, did I roll? I did not. Okay. I turned Ooh, that Gordon. smoke and I gave us another flare up. Oh wow, yeah. Yeah. Gordon! Didn't you do recently do a stream three about... and seven? Mm -hmm. Or wasn't there also a? Um... Panel right that has unplugged about streaming board games. Yeah. So actually, so I did a panel at TwitchCon. <laughs> Uh, about board games uh, with, um, oh my god, I'm blanking. Forged by Geeks? Yeah, Forged by Geeks, thank you. Uh, 
that was pretty awesome. And then mm -hmm. we did another panel uh, on Twist Gaming's stream when they were live streaming mm -hmm. the whole convention uh, at PAX Unplugged with Twist Gaming and Crit Camp and Late Night Tabletop. Uh, and then more recently, uh, I did an interview with uh, Ido, uh, who runs Pencil First Games and introduced us to Herbaceous and uh, Sunset Over Water. Uh, and I did an interview with him, uh, which is on his channel on YouTube, is there uh, a talking about everything. Uh, I don't have a link to the panel offhand. Um, the maybe maybe add us on Twitter. Yeah, a add us on Twitter, and we'll we'll uh, look into that. Twitter link is below. Or yeah, at tilted tabletop. At, at tilted tabletop. tabletop. That was our yeah. yeah. Yes. Um, I don't have. I know I don't have the VOD from TwitchCon yet because it was still being uploaded um, because of uh, some encoding that they still had to do mm -hmm. on it. Um, I don't know if Twist Gaming has made a VOD from their stream yet, but I can check in with them. Um, I do have the link to the YouTube video of the interview that I did with uh, Ido, uh, but I don't have it off the top of my head. But if you look up um, Ido or Pencil First Games or um, and look that up on YouTube and look up uh, Tilted Table or my name, Jordan Hawker. Um, you should be able to find it. If not, uh, you know, definitely tweet at us and we can send you back that link so you can watch it. Uh, all right, I think it is your okay, turn, so Steve. I'm adjacent to that smoke. I believe I can use one of my free extinguishers to just get rid of it. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, so I'm getting rid of that. <laughs> oh, we should have had you do that when you picked up this dude. I know. I didn't even think about it. Yeah. Well, did was that wasn't yeah, there. Yeah, you there was a smoke there. Oh shit. No, there was a fire there. It spawned there. there. Okay. Yeah, okay. we could have cleared that up. I forgot. That, that would have been an even power. stronger argument for the plan that I proposed. Just because you could just do it for free. Um, I have a board game community idea that I want to leverage to facilitate. I'll do you all that. Yeah, yes. definitely. Awesome. We love supporting the board game community, and the board game community in general is super supportive. Um, if you are not already, you should join the Tabletop Gaming Network Discord. Uh, below our channel, you should see uh, the name of the team that we stream to called the Tabletop Gaming Network. Uh, if you click on that and open it in another tab, uh, there should be a link to the Discord there. That is a Discord that has a bunch of tabletop streamers on it. Um, you can definitely ask questions there. The community is very opening and support, uh, welcoming and supportive. Uh, you know, we really love seeing the niche for board games on Twitch grow. Um, so. Definitely tweet us, definitely hit us up on board games. We'd love to hear the idea. Uh, the more new ideas come up, uh, the better. And I think 2018 is shaping up to be a really the great year. year of the board game yeah. on, I almost said Twitter, on Twitch. And so, Twitter. So, okay. On my doubling turn, down, all so the TW I know, sites. I know I said I was using my free action there. I actually can't do anything with my third action, so I'm not going to waste it on that. No, no, so no, you can bank it. Save it. Remember, you can bank it. You can move and How bank How many it. can I bank? Uh, I never found that out, but you should bank at least one. Oh, you should move fine. the okay, person so and bank one. Okay, I'll move that and then bank one. Yeah. Bank one action. And oh, I need to roll. Uh, maximum of four. Mm. And so that's for everyone. Everyone. Okay. Yeah. So you can bank. You could get up to seven AP in a turn if you banked. Okay. One one. That's fine. Yeah, that's okay. All right. I'm going to go one. Open two. Door. Uh, maybe put out that fire. Extinguish. No, 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 no. Why don't you turn that fire into smoke? Uh, no, or because, it, it because if this turns to fire, I'm gonna the victim's gonna. Oh uh, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna extinguish this, and then I'm gonna move through with my last action to find to out see if what it's, it is. It is a victim. Wow, we're getting we're like, getting really lucky with finding them. Mm -hmm. And because it's if we don't roll really terribly, <clears throat> mm -hmm. I'll be able to clear this hazmat before I bring the victim. Oh, nice. Okay. So roll and make um, it not terrible. <laughs> yeah, I've been rolling really badly the last couple turns. One, two. two. Yay! Down there oh, somewhere. One, two, here. All right. Wow, that's a, wow, lot that's of a risky smoke. area. Oh, if that blow, one of those blows up, we are screwed. It's going to be <clears throat> fire everywhere. I'm going to, I'm going to. Oh, I mean, there is a doorway there. I'll so. deal with it. I can, yeah. I can. I mean, well, it's your turn right now. Right, Show us what cool. you got. Yeah, what are you, right. you going to do? So Let we'll put this out. Because my drink was expired. One. Oh, rip. Two. And it was kombucha and it tasted rude. So. Okay, so that was one action. Don't kill us. And then two, one, three, two, three, yeah. four. Yeah. And this is this is now significantly less risky just because this isn't a big conjoined group of yeah. things. Uh, four, and then I don't see any reason not to just. Yeah, it's very unlikely remaining. that you would catch yeah. on fire. It's theoretically possible, but unlikely. 
We have F a oh, that's by six me. Thanks. and Thanks, five. Thanks, Joel. Woo. That's fire. This is fire because it's all right. Sure. Fire. Was that my coconut water? Ah. Uh, erg. All right. Oh, it wasn't open. Good. Yeah, no, it wasn't <laughs> open. So now we're waiting on Steve. Rip everyone. Um, Looks like he had another one in his hands, and he probably checked the date, and that was yeah, expired. Probably. Too. We're doing pretty well here. We've got one person free. Um, one thing that we're going to have to do soon is somebody's going to need to drive the um, drive the ambulance the ambulance place. around. But Steve can do that later. The ambulance. I found a non-expired kombucha. Yay! It's your turn, by the way. What did anything important happen? Uh, he created more fire in front of me. Oh. I'm tempted to just chop through the wall instead of clearing that fire. Because I could chop, chop through the wall outside. Yeah, go but, straight outside. But couldn't victims still end up there? Like, shouldn't I could carry them? the victim out once they're outside. I know, but I a new one. Wait, did we ever put a new victim on the board? <coughs> no, because we haven't we saved any. We three on the board. Oh, they did all three, and then you get more. No, no. Every time we go down to less than three, we put a new one. There are three. Um, but you need to get this one to anything. the ambulance before we get a new person. Okay, so I'm putting it. There's one. That's two. two. Yeah. So you only have one action. Wait, you have a banked one. So you could drive the you could drive the ambulance using your banked one. Just well, and, I I only move. But it costs two to carry the victim. So I have one more action plus your token. You should have spent that. Like you should always spend your banked actions first. I think. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. I guess. Yeah. Well, okay. How much does it take to move the ambulance? It's two, two and you have one okay. and one banked, mm -hmm. and that will give us a new victim, which is important. Okay. And it saves this one. Can you put that? Sure. All right. So now Saved. you roll to advance fire before we find out where the new victim mm -hmm. is. Okay. Uh, two, two, two two. Oh look. Okay, that's a fire. That's. Oh, there's a hazmat I mean, right there. Yeah. Hopefully, I don't roll it. You'll, you'll smoke. All right. Now, yeah. now roll. Now a, roll to figure out where the new yeah. person of interest is or point of interest. Five seven. That's by me. Oh my god. Okay. I, is this like easy mode? I, I definitely. No, we're just getting really I lucky. definitely feel like I should hack the wall. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Where's the Where's your Although other... carrying them outside the well, no, you have carrying to carry them, them to the ambulance. Uh, but carrying them outside right? the building is actually faster than carrying them all the way to the yes. door and then over. You should open up the wall. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm going to spend all four. Oh, wait. Hmm. Yeah, I can clear the hazmat later. I'm going to spend all four of my actions clearing that wall. All right. Does hazmat blow Oh, only... shit. No, the fire. If that blows, I get knocked down. Uh, I'm going to spend hmm? two chopping on the wall and two clearing this fire because the door's uh, okay. open. Is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. Okay. And there's no point in closing the door when I can just clear the fire. Mm -hmm. uh, so now, right. I, now I need to roll. Just don't roll two two. One seven. One all the way down here. Seven. That's a hot spot. That though. is a hot spot, but it is just smoke, thankfully. And wait, doesn't two, it turn five. into fire automatically? No, two. because there wasn't smoke there before. Smoke next to smoke doesn't do anything. It's I know, smoke. but doesn't smoke onto a hot spot turn into fire? No, nope. hot spot only causes flare-ups. Oh okay. Oh oh. So two five. Okay. So smoke there. Uh, two, five. All right. Joel, you're up. Uh, all right. Uh, why am I rolling? Okay, so two actions here, one there. All that's gone. I think as soon as I clear this hazmat, I might spend a turn uh, and then switching we've got... characters because I'm not worrying about the last hazmat. Okay. Sure. So I'll think about what my... I can just wander around continuing to deal with more fires. And wait for a victim to end up. Wait for a victim to end up in my quadrant here. Uh, Is there anything better you could be doing? I guess that's fine because we don't have anyone close to over there, and maybe it's probably yeah. good to, that you can cover like this whole so, area. So I'm gonna go one two here. Okay. Because that door is closed, so if that fire blows, it'll be fine. Ooh. <gasps> <laughs> I almost went over. I was like, I'm like that sound. That's happened before. With kombucha? With you. On stream. No, I, that was me personally. It wasn't like. Yeah. Uh, for not like a. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, I am rolling. You rolling? Okay. Nice. Uh, one on one. Wow. Oh, okay. Okay. Hey, you cleared up the I corner. Know. That's important. You saved yourself. I guess. Some pain. 
All right. Steve. They call me Steve O. Probably bad. It's really sour. Okay. I mean, it's kombucha. Uh, wait, did he use my bank action or no? He yes, did, yes, okay. he did. Sorry, you can give it to me. Okay. So I'll do one, two, and then bank action. And then I'll roll. Yeah, that makes sense. I feel like this is a bad character. Like, I only have three AP. But the. the extent so you know what? I should go one, two, three, and then get rid of that. You should just like, yeah, let actually, someone else get yeah, rid of it. No, you actually should. He, well, and then I'll on spend his, two of my three. Because I'm going to get yeah, rid of it. I'm yeah, gonna on, your, on your way back, you go one and then one, two. So you still get to move it. Mm. Right? No, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's kind. What you did made absolute sense. That is a much more efficient use of your actions. Uh, you still got to roll, though. No. Six, Flare four. Up. Oh. Six. No! Oh, no! It's Wait. just it's smoke. smoke. It's, it's smoke. Oh, I thought it was... And you can extinguish it for free on your turn. So I did it backwards. Act. It's on top of me. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. I'm scared. The, the fire that you just put out let off smoke. It's fine. That's mm -hmm. to be expected. All right. I am going to chop the wall the rest of the way for two and then carry this person outside for another two. All right. And then I'm actually going to leave them there as I go back and check on the other person. Can I you think. move the ambulance without being outside? Uh, yeah. You, no, but you don't have to be on the ambulance to move it. You don't have to be outside to move it. it. Just whoever has two actions left over can just do and it. And if the ambulance crosses the path of the victim, then they're rescued. No. Is that correct? No. You have to get them to the space. It doesn't work that way. Oh, dang. Okay. But whoever ends up with two free actions should Soli, move it around. fire burns. Fire hey, does burn. Hey, Welcome to the stream. Fire does indeed Yes. Burn. There's fire, fire everywhere. Uh, I need to roll for more fire. Oh, Four. look, a 6 5. Great. That's more fire. No, it's not. Nope. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Wait, why is it a Because it's because beside it's a fire. No! Yeah, F smoke. Fire begets fire. Mm -hmm. Doesn't make sense. Which is why I carried people outside, because fuck that. That's good. All right. Oh, this is so sad. Uh, that was you? That was me. All right. So you're up. So I'm going to. Bust open a door here and spend two to put this out, and then. Do you mind moving the? And ambulance? then I can spend. Uh, yeah, I have two more actions to just pull that over there. Yay! Perfect. Salim, thank you for the follow. We're way ahead of the, um, the alerts today. Are we? Oh yeah. But thank yes. you for the follow. Welcome to the table, Salim. Oh, yeah, welcome to the table. I know. Right. Who, who, who disagreed with that? Was that Praveen that disagreed with that? Praveen begin with? Welcome to the table. Yeah. Praveen's a naysayer. We all know this. <laughs> so my, okay, while you're looking it up, my mom was watching our stream apparently like between like Thanksgiving and holiday break. Okay. And there we go. There Thank is. you for the follow. She was like, that Praveen guy. Oh, it didn't even stay in the cup. It oh, like no. went in and just back out again. She was like, that Praveen guy. He's just like all about mischief. Like he disagrees with people just on purpose to make them mad. And like, yes, yes, yes. Welcome to Praveen. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, but he's not even funny. <laughs> he thinks he is, but he's yeah. not. I'm like, I agree, uh, mom. All right, all right, Steve. <laughs> it's not me. Yeah, Joel just rolled. What did you do? What did, did I miss? Uh, yeah, he oh, I didn't really roll. Missed. I didn't he... roll. Oh. Yeah, you're right. right. Okay. Uh, that's a one and a five. All right. So I am going to for free get rid of the smoke. Yay! So this is this is expired now, and I think that's for everyone. What's expired? Uh, the free AP. What? Well, it's not expired. Well, the, the three extinguished AP they cannot be saved. No, but you get it you, per, it's turn. per turn. It means you can't stock them like you can stock these. Yeah. It's oh, per turn. It's it super. Per turn. Oh, no, I didn't know it was per turn. It's super yeah. powerful, dude. It's oh, I would have done okay. more with that. I was. I thought it was. It doesn't really say. Each turn. It should say each yeah, turn. Yeah, all, all well, abilities are all each turn. All AP are like, it replenishes each yeah. turn. Yeah, right? Okay, I didn't know it, that. Basically, you get three extinguish action points. Okay, so I'm going to... You can, yeah. Do one... Two, three? Two, three. Nice. Sure. All right. Roll the dice. Uh, Please don't get me killed. <laughs> I'll try. Five, one. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Ooh. That's fine. So, okay, my question is this. I imagine this flips. This one flips and becomes fire. Do the ones around it immediately become fire? Just this one, because there's a wall. Ah, yeah. okay. Yep. Cool. All right, so my turn, I'm going to go one, two, and then spend two to remove the hazmat. Because, yeah, sure. fuck that. 
Fuck that hazmat. Great. Now, if I ever get to the engine, I can crew change because I don't need the hazmat anymore. And I'll probably do that after I clear the victims. All right. Joel, it's you. Wait, it's, oh, jeez. Did you I, roll? I totally faced that. Yeah. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. Wait, I don't think you... Did you roll? I didn't roll. Thank you. I was going to say, like, okay. I thought I rolled that. 2-2. Two, 2-2. Two. Two. Two, two. <laughs> How convenient. This is just, yeah, this is my life. This is uh, your room. <clears throat> green, that, that green life. That green life. <laughs> yeah, Steve, you should totally <laughs> not get Jordan. Double hawk. I agree. I should not, never do that. Yeah. All right. Welcome to the stream, Double Hawk. How was your holidays? Uh, Ever since Double Hawk lost the one, I just don't even know who wins right? anymore. Yeah. Oh, gee, when did that happen? A while it happened ago. a while ago when name changes came yeah. out. Oh, that was yeah. I Double Hawk know. lost all their points on the bot temporarily. Oh yeah. We got them back, but still. The now now it's just like. I, I don't know. Are you the third double hawk? Are you the fourth double hawk? Are you double hawk zero? I, I just, I, I'm missing the number and I'm confused. All right. Uh, so that was one, two, three, four. I could put that out. Is there anything more valuable I can do with my life? Uh, I mean, that's a, that, that is a question that we can't really answer. You could, you could drive, <laughs> during this game. you could drive the engine knowing that I'm going to need to go there soon. The engine or the ambulance? The engine. Can you move the ambulance toward me? Oh, you're, Actually, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Move it to Steve because I'm going to take Because you're not going to be doing that anyway. Okay. Yeah. So, I, for, I did, shouldn't have had you move it. I didn't one, realize that Steve yeah. was going to get there. So so that's two, three. Uh, and then, I don't know. <laughs> you can maybe actually get a victim in you your You have two more, missing. right? Yeah. So why don't you move the fire engine? Because I'm going to need it for a crew change. Move it here? Yeah. You're going to walk over there? Well, I'm eventually going to move. take my two people to the ambulance sure. there. So when I finish, when I get to the ambulance, then I'll just walk over there and do a crew change. The box says, I'm like the Highlander, there can only, there can be- But you already one. were one, now you're not one. That is one. true. <laughs> now it's unclear how many double hawks there are. That is true. Now the next person's gonna need to be double hawk one. <gasps> and then, we and then we'll, we'll have an impersonator. impersonator. I'm, oh. Be right back, uh, in a couple months I'm a gonna- new Twitch account. In a couple months I'm gonna show up and- Hi, I'm double hawk one. Hi, I'm new here. My name's double hawk one. You guys should make me a mod. Can. The back of my, I'll have like the back of this will say, Double Hawk One. Double Hawk. Yes, you need to get a, you need to get a shirt that says Double Hawk One. All, all for one. Not enough characters. Not joke that we made up that one time. Yeah. Stream. Worth um, it. Is it me? Uh, uh, did I roll? You did not I roll. Did not. No one wants to actually advance the fire, but. Okay. Uh, Shocking how that works. That one's new. Three, I've never seen that. Eight. Yeah. I never. I Hello. Never saw that. Which is fine because I'm not yeah. going back in there. Well, and because you have free, and you do it free. Okay, right. It's now my turn, right? Yeah. So you can just so get rid of you, smoke. I'm gonna drag this lady out to my yeah. ambulance, and and I'm gonna roll for the new uh, person after after all is said and done. And I get a bank one, right? Okay. Yeah, right. Okay. Uh, roll so for roll for fire, fire first. first. Oh, okay. Yeah. This also means that when we move the ambulance, you can ro choose to ride with it to go over here. And Do you think I should just stay there just so I can? Like, we'll see where the person is, but I think you probably want to come help me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because yeah. there's a lot of fire there's over another, here, and there's okay. another person. Okay. Uh, eight five. That's so eight. right here, in okay. the bathroom. Not too bad. Now you can roll for the new person of oh, interest, God. which may change everything. It might be right in front of you again. Uh, six one. Nope. Hey, Fine. Joel has a place to it's go. Right it's, right it's in the corner. Oh, I thought it was the. I thought it was yeah, one. Yeah, surrounded by smoke. But no, I can't get there. Well, <laughs> well I could. I'd have to bust through a wall to do that. I yeah. Uh, well, no, I mean, you have a lot of moves. You could just run. Can you the move me in the, the ambulance doors. over to just that run. way? Just run. Actually, move me in the ambulance. I'll go in and get him. Yeah, that's true. Or her, <clears> or nothing, or yeah. Okay. We'll see what happens or by can't. the time it's your turn. I'm gonna check this Wait, out. Wait, is your turn not done? Uh, Steve, that was your turn. Yeah. <laughs> You're the one who just rolled the dice. I feel like I'm negotiating Joel's turn. I just part. found another person, people. Wow. What's, what? I, did I not that's, shuffle this very well? I don't, I yeah, guess yeah, Did not. you shuffle? I, I mean, I don't know if I did. I was just like, oh, they're new. Like, I don't know. Okay. Um, I did shuffle them a little bit. Maybe you should shuffle the rest, just in case. Yeah. Uh, okay, I that was one... Then I'm gonna go two, three, and then I'm gonna bank, I guess. The first time I've gotten a bank all game. How many did you take? It was one. Yeah. If I had two, I would have moved you. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, God. 
Eight right six. here. That bathroom is just no Smoking. good. Smoking. Somebody's having I mean. a smoke in the bathroom. Call you know, call the stewardess. It is against federal regulations to tamper with disable. Tamper with or disable a laboratory smoke detector. You would make a great stewardess. I? We, here's the thing. They get like Flight free, attendant. They get free travel, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I have a family exercises. friend who has a They're per, stewardess. And they can take people with them. Yeah, yeah you flights. can take a friend. Like, mm -hmm. That sounds like a good... Yeah. I mean, they, they, they get good like, perks. Sit. I, I'm too you have to tall fly everywhere. Hmm? I'm too tall to really be a flight attendant. Right now. <laughs> no. Too tall. Flight attendant. Most of those planes I can't stand all the way up. Yeah, I, I wouldn't want to work a job where I So couldn't. what you would do is you would end up working international flights on the big planes. Ooh. I don't think they're just like, oh, if you're tall, you're going to work on those. No, I, I'm just saying I, that well, like, you would fit, I would have to. You would fit better. I'd have to find a job like that. Yeah. Well, All right. Um, I, don't work out I think you're up, Joel. Right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, I can just like mosey on over there. To where? To, to this. Uh, or you're think, just going. You're I'm just going to ride the well, ambulance. But, so I will ship you over there. Yeah. That's two. Too. I mean, you could still move in that general direction because we may need help with the fire. Wait, I know that... Steve can do a lot of firefighting for free. Uh, actually, I think I should be on the other side, to be honest. I don't know what the rule is with that, but I will. Uh, I was here, and I thought... Oh, yeah, yeah. At the very least, that's where he wants to be anyway, so I'm not going to bother looking it up. <laughs> uh, There's okay. an extra move I don't Yeah. Think. You could just move yourself to Tabletop the Tabletop Guild, thank you for the 100 bits. What? Thank you so much. We appreciate wow. it. Welcome to the table. <laughs> How are you all doing tonight? Hope you are having a good time with us here. We are kicking ass right now, okay, I, which is amazing. Getting this really is like lucky. Really easy mode, like. And we're not even playing on the easiest mode. We're playing on the, the medium, norm, like yeah. the normal advanced. Anyway, we're playing on advanced on the middle difficulty. I am just going to. I don't know. I could just oh like God, go deal. Or you could just more. bank them and figure out what you need to do later. That might be better. Yeah, just bank three actions, sure. Yeah, or, fuck it. All right? It's, there's no sense it's of urgency right Scoggin. now. Oh, is this your your new channel that you're trying to get off the ground? Is this the channel name? I like it. Tabletop Guild. Oh, wait. That's from earlier. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Wiz Scoggin was the one who was in here uh, asking questions. I didn't realize. With, with the space, it was like a new concept yeah. to me. <laughs> oh. Welcome back, Wiz Scoggin. Hey, Shark. Shark. Hello. Are you the left or the right? Serious left, question. Left. Based on emotes, it's left. <laughs> um, all right. All right. Whose uh, turn is it? I am oh, you rolling. Roll. Mate, right? Yeah. Okay. Sup, sup? We are, we are being firefighters and we're oh, doing pretty six, well. Six, one. One. All right. Okay. That's there's fine. some smoke on top of well, that person. And oh, six, one. Oh, yeah. That's bad. That I is. Always, this is bad. That's okay. This Steve's is... got this. Oh, my God. Steve can I literally. No. Oh, actually, I do. You, yeah, you, I have three, all that free stuff. You can clear all three of those smoke on your turn. Yes, I can. Oh, sick. Yeah. Probably right. left, but I'd say it depends on the day. Same. Yeah. Is it my turn? It is. Yes. Okay, so, can you move me on top of the victim? Yeah, one, two, three to the victim. And clear all that smoke. One, two, three free actions. And this is a person. Holy. We are getting so lucky. I'm going to have to. We might have to do a second words. game. <laughs> we're like demolishing this game. One, two, three. No, this is what's gonna happen. See, we're gonna get to six, and then yeah, the, we're yeah. not gonna get the last. We person already until have still. six. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. And the fire, we've been really good about fire. Actually, we should have added a new aren't person. There, aren't there exactly? We should seven? have added a new person. No, because no, nobody oh. saved. Are there exactly seven in the stack? I think so. I, yeah. yeah. So it could. No. Uh, no, I think there's more than seven in the stack. Hmm. But Steve did remove. three. Three I removed two victims and one. Or two victims and one non yeah. empty uh, okay. space. Hmm. But I think there is like close to seven. It's very, not very many more than seven, possibly. <clears throat> All right. All right. I think there is sure. more. I think there's more than seven because it's possible you could have like how many there are two that you're going to try There's twelve victims. Twelve six. victims, and you took out two, so there's ten and five. Ten, All right. ten victims and five false alarms in there, and we have not gotten a single false alarm. All right. Well, all right. Uh, Steve gets to roll for fire. That was my. Oh, yeah, that was my turn now. Three, four. That's not too bad. Hey, look, something for Joel to do. And it's yeah. right on the uh, oven, which I think is like operable. Why is the <laughs> oven smoking, Steve? Did you leave it on again? 
cooking it. I'm baking a cake, but then All I right, have to go. I'm gonna go right. one, two, one, two, and get this guy outside. Are you allowed to stack them like that? Yeah, they can share a space. Hmm? I what I really want to do is. Is that go, really comfortable for your the victims? Yeah, it's fine. Um, They're just like sprawled on top of one another. What are you gonna What are you gonna be? I'm think. Well, I have the to leader? get the fire truck to change, but I'm. The leader's pretty good. I'm gonna be, I am thinking about becoming. Can the... you do one that can carry victims or has a lot of? Energy? Yeah, so there's a rescue specialist that gets three free movement per turn, every turn, in addition to their normal ones, and they can chop for one AP instead of two. That's pretty but good. But they suck at dealing with fire and smoke. But you guys are really good at That's that. That's fine. How many regular uh, actions do you get? It's four. Like... So yeah, I can go. Regular... What? That seven, three, really yeah, OP. four actions plus three movement, and um, well, okay, so it's like one one and action... chop is half price, but. I pay double to extinguish fire and smoke. Oh, okay, okay, sure. Um, so, so you would have to pay, pay like a whole four. turn just to yeah. put out a single fire. Um, or I could be the paramedic, which can, for one action point, treat a victim, and then the victim can move without being carried after that point. So your movement is less. I think the rescue specialist is better. Yeah, I think so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave both victims here. And I'm gonna go run uh, this way with my extra action. Mm -hmm. I hate and yeah, and I'll be able to crew change in two turns. Uh, is that the wait? Most you're not doing it this turn. Hold on, I I can't. I have to be on the fire engine to crew change. Uh -huh. I'm trying to figure out the most efficient way to do that. Um, is it better to just pull someone oh, over with you? No, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna stay here, save, next turn I'll move them one space, and then go one, two, three, so that I more efficiently use my turns. Mm -hmm. All right, so my go, or you gotta roll. Ah, yes. The rolls. Two, two. Hello, Joel. <sighs> All right. That just keeps popping like up on you. I feel like you may wanna get over here at some point. There's a lot of smoke building up there. Yeah. Sure. So we do have. It could get real bad if this erupts, but Steve's gonna deal with it. I've got. Yeah. I mean, you I mean, can. After I drag my person. Well, you can do one of them for free as a drive-by, literally. Mm -hmm. You can extinguish this one all the way as you go out. Oh, uh, I guess I have four action. I banked one. No, you have free extinguish, dude. Yeah, but how yeah. So you... one, two, three, four, and then spend a free extinguish. Oh, yeah. got it. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I have eight actions this turn. Get rid of all that. I would get all that so... stuff near you, and then. Uh... I would just go. Yeah. So like. One, uh, question, yeah. two, three, four. Wait, why'd you use two? He, five, six. six. Why'd you use two and then, the, uh, put the smoke out? Now you no, 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 I, I, I use... You still have two more actions. Six, oh, you seven. Have eight total. That's why you don't spend your tokens, because you it's easy to lose track. Yeah, I guess so. Um, uh, but you could bank... Seven, and could, then bank the last one. Yeah, you could keep the eight... Just in case. Okay. Oh, roll for. Roll for initiative. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I keep thinking of. Doing. <laughs> wow, that looks. Oh snap! Oh snap! Did it land on the? It did. So don't let that turn into fire. All right. <laughs> I, I'm right there. Just roll the we same just thing really again. don't want that to explode. Okay. So I am going to um, use my banked point and then. I think Hazmat's her. create a new. Can you drag uh, me to toward the door? Uh, Joel then, can. Mm -hmm. uh, can you drag me to uh, with the with the Move lady the to the door? The victim. Oh, this way. Yep. yep. And then put out the fire. That's yeah. Boom. Yep. Killing it. Killing it, Steve. Roll them bones. Mm. Roll them bones. Bones. Four. Five. I suppose that's what dice were made. Of five four. Five. That, that is was... right there. Smoke. Smoke. You'll be able to clear that up easy. This is really sad. All right, so I'm gonna go. One, two, one, two, three, and end my turn. Sure. <coughs> uh, and there you go. For, ah. Six and, and three, right on three. Steve. All right. Some smoke on you, Steve. I wonder what you're going to do on your turn. <laughs> All right. As for me, oh, yeah, uh, that's been my I'm going to go one, two, deal with that. Perfect. Uh, you can do three. Yeah. Four. Wow. Five, easy. Yep. And six. I don't know. Do you, you want to spend the bank or do you just want to save it? Maybe I just save it. I don't know. Might as well. Yeah. Okay. Better stay closer to the door, I suppose. Never uh, know. 
Five, four. Four and a five. Yep. That's a hot spot. Uh, oh. So roll again. We've caused a flare up. Six, four. Four and six. No, no. Other way around, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Six it's right here. Four. Yeah, which right. causes another flare up. No! Uh oh, chain reaction. Stop oh, wait. It. And. Oh my god, oh, you just lit Steve on fire. That is no! a disaster. And I think you killed and a victim. Somebody killed. I'm gonna, right. I'm gonna double check, but I think you just killed a victim with that flare. Oh my god. <laughs> Jeez, Joel. Everything oh was god. going so well. Um, we had to have some drama. Right. It was, it was going Someone way died, too well. Joel. I can't drink this. No. That, that that yes, any here. victims in a fire are lost. A uh, firefighter goes to the ambulance, and you can, and it goes to the closest they're lit. ambulance We're, space. You know, they're not dead, they're just lit. So what, you immediately get ejected from the house? Yeah, so you got knocked down and got sent to the ambulance. And that's just, like, free? Yeah. Well, it's not free. It means you have to go back into the house. In I'm this not case, going back into the house. You have extinguished. Your job is to literally go back into the house. Oh, God. What's, can someone click that? All right. All right. I'm afraid to click this. What do we got? Yep. Oh. All right. Yes. <laughs> this, is this, is, this is fine. Everything is fine. And I'm rolling oh, again because oh, yeah. this was another hot spot, right? So yeah. And then after you do that. No, there's one no, already under there's there. There's a hot spot here. You buried right. it. Yeah. Oh, there's one. Okay, there yeah, are two. There. I thought I got moved. All right. Uh, that's three and six. Oof. And now you roll for a new general. person of interest. Mm. I actually oh, have boy. the plush of that little dog under my desk. Yeah, Patrick has one That too. is Steve. Uh, four, eight. Four, eight. I'm like, that's nice. That's right up. No, 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 not smoke. Person. Oh, person, right. Now it's gonna be a fake one and we're gonna lose. <laughs> we We had a guaranteed person and they died. Is it me? Yes, it's you. Okay, Go fight some I'm fire. using... Don't even uh, worry about the victims. I got the victims. Should I, okay, can, I can remove the one next to me, right? You should remove Perfect. as many as you can. You can remove... You could do... Oh, you can only do one of them. You can also use, like, the fire truck gun. Yeah. Just saying. Uh, I was thinking... Oh, yeah! Because that clears the entire Yeah, quadrant. you could try and... You could get have a chance to clear I the whole... I shouldn't do that. Wait, no, fire you... Fire truck. Well, also, you don't have to be... Do you have to be on the fire? Oh, he doesn't have... A, he doesn't but, have uh, so action you, you just can't do that. He can't yeah. afford it. Yeah, so I'm going to just... Okay, here's what I want to do. I want to remove the fire that's in the doorway. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then move to the victim. That's seems fine. And then, uh, do you want to move to the farther victim <clears throat> or the closer victim? The... Probably the closer. Oh, I was thinking just to go here. Because oh, they're safe. I just want to see well, what don't, that is. Don't take my ambulance away. I'm about to save these people. Don't move it. Well... Uh, you're about to save. I'm a, I'm about to come for these. You you right, should you're, you you're should help me save now. them while it's Why? here. Why they're already safe? Like, I would rather just win as fast as possible. Than... But but winning as fast as possible means putting more persons of interest on the board so Joel can go get them. We don't know where to go, and we still have two more to find. Right. So as long as they sit outside, uh, okay. we're I guess then our um I guess. But then, you could go okay. one two, and bank right. And then you would be able to move it and save it on your next turn. Fine. Okay. Right? That's fine. Can I have a thingy? You may have a thingy. Okay. Uh, but roll the dice and don't kill everyone. Why are you putting all this pressure on me? Joel already killed Don't roll a 6-4. Joel, Joel already killed someone. What happened to our... Oh, the victim goes and... What is that? It's definitely they, my they go fault. like the medical part? Yeah, this is just death. No, I think that's death and that's like saved. Maybe. It says the rescue. And the other one's I, like... Doesn't matter. We know what they mean. Well, four or five. That seems bad. That seems it is bad. Oh shit. No, it's fine. No, it's not. No, it's fine. Wait. Oh, oh you did four. cause a flare-up. It's five. No, no, turn it's this five. to fire and you caused a flare-up. Yeah, okay. So. so roll the dice again. Um, Don't fuck it up. Three, one. That's one, fine. Three is okay. That's fine. Nice. Hey Jordan, at you. Oof. Oof. Did you, did you, are you going to be the new person? Yes. So I'm going to spend two action points to swap from the hazmat technician to the rescue specialist. The rescue specialist gets three free movement eight action points. Also, chopping only takes one action point. 
but it costs double to extinguish fire or smoke. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, it costs me two of my four action points. So you're like the overachiever in class, yeah. like you get picked last. So I'm gonna go one, two, three Thanks, with Jim. my three movement points. <laughs> That's right. And then, oh wait, uh, I'm gonna help Steve, I'm not gonna do hurt Steve. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. Well, um, why, not, why are you offering that with no? And then I'm gonna bank one. Sure. Okay. And then roll. Oh, if you weren't gonna do that this turn, then we totally could have moved Steve over because I could have moved but the ambulance Steve, back. But Steve and I are both about to save. Well, Joel doesn't really have much to do where he is. Like mm -hmm. he could have. Right. Which is why we need to prioritize getting new people on the board. Right. I and, think it would have been like net, like net neutral in. Hmm. I guess I'm going to take a little more turn. Oh, you're yeah. rolling. Okay. The point is, is that on Steve and my turn, we can both immediately rescue someone. Whereas, in order for Steve sure. to rescue someone, we would run out of action points. We would have gone another time around. Right? So, it, sure. it is, we get two people instead of one. So, mm -hmm. six, three. That seems okay. Oh, mm. wait. Uh, it created fire. Okay. Well. Okay. Uh, wherever you want to go. Yeah, this is weird. I mean, you could chop through the wall. We're not taking a lot of building damage. You don't need to. You, I mean, if you create a path, it'll help us get places quicker. Why right? don't you banks a lot of stuff? I mean, you can do that. You too. Have to, you'll have two victims next turn. But like, you, can you have what? Time. You have six points. I have six to spend. Yeah. So, so you, just like like you could chop through the wall and clear this and still bank one and I then have guess so. I don't know that like there's a lot of advantage to breaking well, them now until we know where to go. Except well, except for the fact that Joel keeps getting stuck on this like um, in this he area, keeps getting yeah. put back and forth and back and forth because feeling, he has no I, way. I feel through. pretty useless. Okay. I'm, uh, I, I'm I'm okay with you making a path. We have 24 damage cubes. It's not piling right, up right I'm now. Do that. And we have like. <clears throat> Once Steve and I rescue these people, I I can be the one to go over here because I have all the movement. Steve can go in and start right. fighting fires. So that's five actions just to do that, and then I will... You just sit, bank, bank save the last it. one. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Whoa. Uh, roll them domes. Two, eight. Two right over here. Eight. That's not bad. Yeah. All right, Steve. Uh, I am going to drag my person over one. So that costs two. And I'm going to bank one. Okay. All right, four out of seven. Okay, I'm going to roll for fire. fire. Uh, three, one. Turns to fire. And then I'm going to roll for a new person, hopefully by Joel. Uh, no. Nope. Five, five. Oh, oh my shit. god. I know what Steve's That's doing next precarious. turn. <laughs> I know what Steve's doing. That's not good. Go fight some fire, Steve. I still have to... <sighs> okay. Yeah, go fight some fire. I mean, I could technically go find that victim right now if we wanted to spend all of my action. <coughs> no, why don't we just get that mm -hmm. on the board? I think you Finding should... Finding out what that... like. When you say find them, you mean can you like drag them out? No, but no, like I, I could go one with a free movement space, mm -hmm. four uh, to clear that because I have my restriction, and then two, three with my other three movement to find out if it's a real one right away. Actually, but then if it explodes, I'm still, I would still get knocked down, so I don't think it helps us. That, but it doesn't hurt. I mean, it, 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 it slows us down. I, I think you're right. I think you're right that I should just save this guy. So um, at least one, two. I'm gonna assume it's nothing. <laughs> three, four. So that used three of my free movement and one regular movement. Uh, if you want to. Do I have to move with the ambulance? Nope, you can stay there. Okay, then so I'm going to use my should... last two to move the ambulance. Or I, I said one, two, three, four. I oh, have no, three left. I, sorry. Uh, I have three left. Now I'm going to see if I have to stay on that spot. I assume that I do, but I'm just double checking. The vehicle movement. You should, Jordan, that victim is just dying to be found. Dying Alive. to be found. Engine, same space. Di uh, dying to be found. Oh, you can exit in either space of your choice after driving. There you go. So I'm going to exit here. Um, but that left me with one action left, so boom. And it's a person. One, Easy. two, three, four, five, six. So I should just run the F in there. And clear as much as you can. And see, yeah. We'll just see what that is. 
If, if it's uh, nothing, uh, does it just mean a new one automatically? So what you can do is you could go one, two, clear with two of your extinguish, three to move in, and then clear one of these to smoke. The problem is they're all adjacent, so if you turn one to smoke, it reignites. But if you clear this one, you can turn one of them into smoke without the other one reigniting it. That's so you can like fire and try and help save it. Or I'm just gonna kill them right now. Okay. Hopefully that. Well. You actually might? No. I almost did. Oh, I did explode though. God. And it's a flare up. Damn it. <laughs> so lots of fire for, good thing you made a hole in the wall, Joel. And then two, one damage there. Good thing like and that's now the, probably the cat. That's probably the cat. <laughs> two seven right here. Another smoke. Oh, this okay, is gonna, this is gonna light up. Thanks, Joel. All right, Joel. I've given you some interesting things to do. Finally, I hope you're not use feeling Hooray. useless. Hooray! Okay, yeah. One, two, three. You have six actions, so four, five, uh, and then I can't really do bank. much beyond that. Oh wait, so you already. I am going to bank. Yeah. Yeah. Well, keep the <clears throat> one you already had banked, I guess. I suppose so. Seems fine. That was a good turn. Mm hmm. Don't roll that same thing yeah, don't again. don't roll that same thing, please. That pun was fire and you know it. That doesn't look... That's terrible. Four, three. That That's not fine. bad. Oh, I thought... Okay. That... It was almost next to the fire. Okay. I'm... Oh, I forgot to roll for the new person on my turn. I don't think it would have changed what you did, but we do need to know where they are. Six, four. Uh, Reroll because that's fire. No, isn't it oh. they they go like no, you, you just, follow the you arrows? Just, no, you just re-roll. I think you follow the arrows. That's what they're on the board for. All right, I will double check that. That could do, yeah, that could just be the initial placement you re-roll. <clears throat> no, I mean yeah, the initial um, placement you re-roll. If the target space has a fire or Lucky smoke shot. marker, remove that fire or smoke marker before placing it. Mm. Awesome. What are so, the arrows for then? Uh, I think it's just showing. There's a whole thing. Hold on. There's a diagram. Oh, it has to do with something else. There's a diagram. I'm curious now. Yeah, it has to do with. So something. this fire is gone. Yeah. And you get Lucky one of charms. These and yep. Lucky charms. We have not killed any kitties. And we've saved <laughs> five people already. <laughs> Uh, they have killed one person, though. All right, so now it is Steve's turn. Oh, wait. Never mind. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What? Hold on, what? In an experience game, a POI may only be placed in a space without a threat marker. Oh. If the POI or punishment target space is invalid, use a diagram to direct the POI. Okay, yeah. so you, All right. that's what that is. So that's the Got experience it. rules. Okay. Yeah, it, it would be... I was looking at the wrong section. Too easy to just get, like, a free fire. That's okay. Thing You're right. going to get to look at them next. Uh, Steve, you want to go fight some fires? Actually, hang on, hang on for a moment, because this was... Oh, you could move and... F you could... You well, no, moved... okay, let's... We have to backtrack this a little bit, because this was at the end of your turn, correct? Uh, there wasn't fire here, it was here. You cleared a smoke here. No, the fire... The fires were here and here at the beginning of yeah. my turn. Oh, you're right. So then it would have been here, so you would, would have, have actually there. found it. So I would have right. stepped in, discovered this, He's found a cat. It is a kitty! Probably still cleared the fire, though. Uh, and it, then still cleared the fire, yeah. yeah. Okay. But now Just, that puts it in a better position. So wait, this is the end of the game. These are the last two. Yes, if we get them out without dying. So wait, the cat counts as a person? Yeah. Oh, okay. The cat is a victim. So basically, if you can get the cat out this wall the rest sure. of the way, we can bring. I can bring that around to you. Okay. But Steve should still go in and fight fire because we need to make sure that the house doesn't blow up. I don't, I don't think things we were to. supposed to be. Uh, what? I, I, I want to look at these after the game, but. <laughs> I mean, you don't have enough. I, unless you want to spend all your actions getting driven over here by the ambulance. Uh, I you might idea. as well just fight fire. I was going to switch to the fire captain and just empower you guys to move more. Okay. Yeah, it costs you. One, two to get there, and then two, you have enough banks yeah. to go do the fire captain. Okay, so I'm going to use my two. Okay. Um, so you can one, two, we can, we can shuffle these, but I'm just curious. They're all there. They're all there. We just got, and we did shuffle. Well, we just got extraordinarily we lucky. Got, which means that this one is a fake one as well. So we ignored it well on purpose. <laughs> we did find a kitty 
lucky charms. We're going to try and okay, save it. So um, uh, I'm now the. I'm switching to the fire captain. All right, and I believe it. Well, you have the rule book. Can you hand it to me, Steve? Yes. I believe you get to start with your max AP minus the two you spent, even though you already spent two this turn. But I'm double checking. Oh, must be your first action of the turn, so you can't do it right now. Oh, I can't switch. But you could um, bank. Instead of spending your AP... I would have... You could bank more two, and then okay. switch next turn. Okay. Right? Well, I don't bank any. I bank one. <laughs> yeah, you bank one. All right. So my turn is going to be, hey, I saved a person. For one, um, that was a free movement, two free movement actions because I had to carry them. Then I'm going to spend two of my four AP to drive myself around here. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to spend my third free movement to go here, and I have chop I'm going to chop for one because it's what I do. Uh, and then I have one AP left plus a freebie. Um, there's nothing for you to really get. How far can you get in a turn? You can get all the way outside. I can get all the way outside. So I yeah. should stay where I am and then help finish it. Yep. All right. It, which is actually going to happen on Steve's turn. So that's perfect. So I'm going to stay exactly where I am, bank my last AP, even though it's useless. All right. Cool. So or, roll? Yeah. Roll. Okay, that's fine. Uh, yeah. Hopefully I don't blow everything up. 3-7. Right here. Mm -hmm. That was lucky. Woo. All right. We missed you, For me, it'll be one, two, three. That's all your That's, movement, which is including all your bank. movement. So we've won. We've won. Uh, nice. Well, we'll, we'll split we'll, it out we'll anyways. We should out still roll it and it. see we'll how We'll see goes. how destroyed the house and is. And we, you want, we want you to use your new roll because uh, it was tactically important. Three, one. Uh, so you just exploded. I just was, exploded. All right. How was your fire to the house? And I don't know what happens here because this is already a door, but the fire just bursts out. Like, yeah, I don't think you have fire outside. I think it just. We'll see you soon. Safe night. I think it just goes boom and that's it. Yeah, I think it blows out the door. Oh, you place fire on the open space even if it's outside the building. Oh, interesting. Oh. <clears throat> So that's that could, that's actually important because that's a hospital space or an ambulance space. So if, it, <laughs> if we had happened to need it, that means that we couldn't put, bring a victim to that spot. Mm -hmm. We would I mean, have had to clear even move the ambulance to that spot until you clear Yeah, it, it might. I, I'd have to read the rules, but it's, um, it's likely. All right. Uh, what's up, Steve? Me. Okay. I'm using two, two, two AP two. to become the right. fire captain. Great. Uh, don't don't use the banked AP. Use uh, your AP <laughs> because you start with two less anyways. So now you have two AP plus three banked AP and two free command AP. Yeah. So I'll use the two free command AP to move. Do you do you want to use the fire engine first since you have a lot of actions? Okay. Do you want to fight some fire? You have five actions that you can't use your command. Okay. Fine. Oh, what do, how do I, I do that? Or no. Four AP. Wait. What does it say? Oh, no, you can spend any AP on command. Oh, okay. So you can actually command three times if you feel you need to, but you only need to, what is this, a movement spent this way or at the normal movement cost of the player being moved. So you could spend your two free plus the two that you have left on your character, and you'd have three left, so you can't actually use the fire engine God. If, if you want to win the game. I want to win the game. Or you could wait a turn and let me, and have me win it. I don't have a preference. Are we it's like, up to you. Are, are we BMing the game yeah. here? Like, what's going on? You can, yeah, fucking game, you loser. Like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, let's just win. I use my two to move. Okay. Me. All right. You move me on. 
That's he said Joel. Joel. He said Joel. Damn it, you <laughs> bastard! He saved the kitty and the dog. I wanted to save the, the kitty. The final victim was the cat. That was the so game. Our game RNG play. was pretty phenomenal. Yeah, we mm -hmm. avenged the cat hard. And I also wonder if I didn't shuffle those things. Though I, I would say like I actually did put them in different piles and restack them, but mm -hmm. I must not have done a great job. That was insane. But yeah, also, like, the location of mm -hmm. them was super convenient. Yeah, they were the one time the we got a false alarm, we actually just ignored it and let it be surrounded by fire. <laughs> yeah. Which is hilarious. Well, that was, we, I think we, we saved Kitty. It's not a record for our shortest game, but that's, that's probably, no, uh, that's Candy probably Land's our shortest game. Candyland took about two minutes because on my, like, second turn, I got, like, the farthest possible... Uh, of those cards you can get. Oh and my god. Like two more turns I won. You played Candyland on this? Yeah, <laughs> sure did. They played Candyland, Jenga, and Hungry Hungry Hippos all in the it same night. It was terrible. <laughs> Jenga was fun. Hungry Hungry Hippos was great because Ian got super, super tilted trying to min figure out how to min max on How did it was the Ian always got like tilted. Optimal Yeah. I, uh, we I have there's a there's a whole clip about the optimal strategy. I'm not getting back into it. <laughs> that is a great clip. That is one of the best uh, clips of 2017. So we have finished the game. Let's. I guess we've already played this one. So we but can, we should still talk about it. We can still talk about it. Uh, yeah. So, uh, so th we'll we'll give a, a quick review of Flashpoint. Um, first off, component quality. Thoughts? It's nice. It's fine. It's nice. The miniatures are cool. Uh, it does have a little thing with the, the chat with the, the chads on the. Uh, yeah, the punch out isn't as clean uh, as yes. uh, as our good friends over at Slugfest. That's the cat we save. Twas I that set the house. It totally was. <laughs> we saved the cat that caused the fire. We saved it last because the people were more important. This is true. Um, so yeah, I, I agree with you. There, the chipboard is fine, but the punching I mean, could have been. Functional. Like I, yeah, but it is like you can feel it, and it's like it's a it. thing. Um, and it's like it's a thing you would never really care about until you've seen someone do it better. And now that we've seen. Now that we've seen the way Slugfest's manufacturer puts those punch boards together, all other punch boards are yeah. like forever ruined for me. Mm -hmm. You know what um, could be fun is like a deluxe edition with like a 3D fire that like it oh, like, like throws 3D off fire the board. Tokens. Yeah. Like like the the fire token from Forbidden Island. Yeah. But like 20 of them, no. That would be fun. I don't that know. That would like, be an expensive like, game. Like plastic, like see through plastic. I think that'd be fun though. Yeah. It'd be cool. I'm thinking like deluxe edition of the game. Like, that's you know, like, they can yeah, charge 20 yeah, more bucks. The 20 more. That's... Um, <laughs> you don't think, you think that's too little or too much? I, when you get into that degree of minis, like, yeah. I like, getting, like, I like the, minis. Little, I the minis. The minis are pretty detailed. Like, they've got their fire tanks and a hose. But to be honest, like, I didn't even look at But they're all the same. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's what I thought. Yeah. They're all the same mini, just different colors. They're not like amazing minis, but they're they're solid, um, and they do have like a nice amount of detail uh, on them for like pretty basic minis. I don't know. This they're isn't not really like a mini anything. focused. No, game it's not though, either. I don't so. know. But it's like they they could have just put like meeples or something like crappy. I honestly and... would not have minded the meeple. But I, it's I... a nice little touch. But I don't think I gain a lot from having a firefighter. I, I get yeah, it. I mean, it's... <laughs> Uh, the, the artwork on the cards is actually pretty nice for the roles. Yeah, they are nice. Um, they're very, they're very like distinct of like who is who. So you have like the rescue specialist, um, the CAFS firefighter, the imaging technician, the driver operator, the hazmat technician, the paramedic, uh, the fire mm -hmm. captain, and then Joel's, which I would the is over here, the generalist, which is just sort of like. The generalist is just like covers it. Their face is like covered. Dude, yours is like almost like menacing. He's got the axe and the <laughs> mask and everything, and kind of the whole like hat. He's the, he's the cover over the of the eyes thing. The cover of the game. Yeah, um, he is actually. Um, there you go. So yeah, so that that artwork is fine. Um, I like the colors of this game. Everything has like really high contrast and pops really well. Um, you, I mean, you can tell even with our. Uh, you know, not favorite camera that we use as the overhead. Uh, this shows up really well on the table. Like you can clearly yeah. see, even the these little hotspot tokens show up really well on the board, which means they thought about what the board needed to look like for all the pieces to show up really well and be very visible. Um, which is like with all the colors and like the tables and stuff 
in the rooms, um, you know, you could easily like accidentally have something where it's like, I don't know, like a black tablecloth and then the, the yeah. hot spot blends in and stuff like that. Um, so I thought that was really nice. Um, I re I like that they have, uh, even though it a little bit bothers me, it like it makes sense, but it a little bit bothers me that these are triangles and that they don't actually look like the dice. But it makes sense well, because it's, it's the it face is the face. The it is the shape of the face of the die, so I understand it. Mm -hmm. But part of me wants it to look like the an actual three D die. I understand why they don't, but I, I like that they give you the shape of the die to make it obvious which direction goes with which die, rather than just expecting you to know. Oh, this is the six side. This is the eight side. Mm -hmm. So it's very clear. Um, and to make things even more redundantly clear, all of the yeah, they have actually yeah. have like a little which is nice. Them. Um, learning curve. Yeah, learning curve. I mean, this game is pretty easy to pick up. Those of you who have been here from the beginning saw that we, you know, we have played all at least once before, and but we jumped in really quick, and hopefully you all could follow along without us like in depth giving all the rules right off the bat. Um, and the, there's, there's two sets of instructions as well. So there's we did the advanced mode. But there's also a set of like family instructions and which are even easier. easier. The family instructions take out the vehicles. They take out the hazmats. And it also like tells you where like where the starting locations are for the fire and everything. So it's not our, our yeah. random. They kind of put it in an optimal yep. location um, to get first. You have really nice reference cards that give you the turn order, all the different things you can do on a turn. Um, the, how the game ends. Here's your list of actions. Sorry, I flipped my hand backwards. Um, this includes all the experience rules. The uh, most of these actions aren't. A lot of these actions aren't actually viable in the family game. The family game is so easy that you don't need the actions reference. Um, but really, it's like it's super easy to internalize what you can do and yeah. occasionally. For a thing that I rarely do, I would look up how much it costs, like firing the deck gun or crew change, but then it's just right there, and so then you know. Um, complexity and depth of strategy. We had a really easy one, but also you can you can crank up the uh, complexity and depth of strategy by adding more hot spots and more uh, has is it hazmat. Yep. Um, so the next the next step up has one more hot spot and. And one additional hazmat at yeah. the beginning, so that can just add a lot more. Yeah, yes, four. Oh, it's okay. So it's four additional explosions, five hazmats, um, yeah. and then uh, is it is the number of explosions equal to the number of players, or is it set? No, it's just heroic. Okay. is four and five, mm -hmm. and then uh, makes sense. Then you add. Yeah, you still have three hot spots. Yeah, but I I think um, I think that. While this game goes up to six players, uh, in terms of difficulty, three to four players seems like the sweet spot. You yeah. have enough people on the board that you can cover a lot of the board, but you don't have so many people that you're waiting forever to get to take another turn again where uh -huh. you might get like blown up by fire. Okay, I made a mistake. Mm -hmm. What'd you, what mistake did you make? Did it cause us to win the game easily? Uh, a little more easily, yeah. So there were two bullets and I just missed... So three additional hotspots playing uh, at the veteran heroic difficulty level. So I added three, and then it also said as a second bullet that I missed was two additional hotspots of playing with three firefighters. Oh, so we should have had two more hotspots. Two more hotspots, mm. but if we weren't playing in veteran heroic, we would have only had two. So we actually, I mean, we were kind of like at- So we're playing on medium difficulty, not advanced difficulty. Mm -hmm. Correct, yeah. Okay. I, that that would have definitely changed things because we hit hot spots a lot and if there were two more on the board there would have been a lot more fire those turns that Joel basically had nothing to do would have been very busy as a result yeah uh, and we probably would have tasked we probably would have swapped your two roles much earlier and just had you focus on fighting fires mm -hmm. had we had two more hot spots I mean we didn't we, I think we still would have won because of how well we did with finding people yeah. we didn't get out like unscathed um, we still had a lot of fires yeah. at the end. Mm -hmm. I think what we missed out on was more explosions that made the building structure. Yeah, we uh, we like more, rarely we were not took damage. Yeah. In fact, six of the seven damage that we took to the building were was from us. Us, but Yeah. So oh no, <coughs> five five of the. You seven. know what? Though when we first played this game, we were literally just like hacking into the building. Like yeah, we we we, we like destroyed half the building on our own and then died because <laughs> the building we, the yeah. building destroyed. So so. <laughs> 
Yeah. We were being conservative this time. <laughs> it worked out okay. Um, yeah, th nice. this game has a lot of expansions. Uh, so I'm definitely be interested in checking them out and bringing them back. Yeah, on and I hope it's not just a new map. I hope it's like new roles slash. Yeah, but it is def definitely. I think every one of them has a new map, but I think there's also new roles and mechanics awesome. introduced. Um, I've not played them, but I've seen them. I'm sure different locations might have different types of hazards that um, occur as yeah. the, it's destroyed. For I think d d different firefighters with different abilities as well. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. That's that's Flashpoint. This was, uh, you know, this this game. This is a good. This is a good game because it does play reasonably quickly. They say forty five minutes. That probably took about forty five minutes yeah, plus explanation. Um, with six players, it might take a little bit longer, but it doesn't really take that much longer because you still have the same goal in mind. So it's still the same number of turns. Mm -hmm. You just have people spread out a little bit more. Um, so an individual firefighter's turn takes longer, but you're still getting the same amount of stuff done throughout the house. Mm -hmm. um, with with a higher number of players, you can task a lot more people with just fighting fire, uh, which is nice. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that that is Flashpoint. So, um, do I, we have any? So we have a few special things. I don't think we're announcing them. Yeah, we all quite yet. We should we keep it a secret? Yeah, I well, think so. Yeah, well, we we have some special announcements coming up uh, that we're not going to announce yet. Um, we but when we, the whole crew is back together. We will yeah. we will announce it. <clears throat> pro we we may announce it via Twitter, but we will definitely talk about it next week. Mm -hmm. um, but and in the meantime, special surprise yeah. you'll see on our stream next week or the week after. Probably uh, next week. Neither. Just what? don't worry about it. We right. we have we have. We have a special yeah, surprise that we're not going to talk about. Yeah, I don't and, know what surprise you're talking about. And I'm talking about a surprise for... Yes. Uh, surprise for the eyes. Oh, there... Okay, <laughs> then I was talking about a different surprise. Well, yeah, All right. A different surprise I'm not talking about yet. We have two surprises that we'll talk about <laughs> soon. Um, one, one of them we may announce on Twitter. The other one we'll probably talk about for sure uh, next week. But in the meantime, let's talk about what we have coming up over the next two weeks because... We are doubling down on bringing you guys great content uh, for 2018, and that's going to bring a lot of amazing new stuff uh, that we haven't been able to do in the past, that we've done a little bit of, but not as much. Um, and that is, uh, we have two awesome promo streams coming up over the next two weeks. Uh, first, the wonderful folks over at Van Ryder Games have provided us with a copy of Salvation Road, uh, which, as I understand it, I, I've not played the game, but as I understand it, it's um, sort of a post-apocalyptic survival game. Think, it it kind of sounds like, think the setting of The Walking Dead minus the zombies. Okay. So it's kind of like that style of I look, um, but I don't the title think it's a zombie think game. like Mad Max. Yeah, um, but but I think it's kind of like in the the style of what the world looks like after the zombie outbreak in The Walking Dead, but without okay. actual zombies. Sure. Um, so we're gonna be trying to play Dead of Winter, right? Uh, so we're we're gonna be playing Salvation Road, uh, and we're going to be giving it away. Who? What's that you say? Yes, we are going to play the game for you live on stream, and then we are going to give it away that night. And one of our lucky viewers. Uh, is going to have a chance to take it home with them. Uh, so make sure you tune in if you want a chance to win. We are super, super excited to be able to bring that to all of you. Uh, and then, but wait, there's more. But wait. Uh, and then the next week, we have a promo stream with Charterstone from Stonemeyer Games. Jamie Stegmeyer uh, was very kind enough to send us this brand new just released legacy game it came out last month mm -hmm. and we are going to play through the first episode of the legacy game uh live on stream i'm super excited for it it is a game where the game board uh gets permanently altered by stickers that you peel off of the cards that you draw and i think there's also kind of like a almost like a choose your own adventure thing where like one card will say to draw a, num a certain oh. numbered card what out is that of the deck. that's in two wow. weeks no uh, salvation road stream is next week oh shoot yes next wednesday and then the week after that will be charter stone 
Uh, so we're going to be doing a giveaway next week. Then we're going to do another promo of this brand new legacy game, Charterstone. Uh, and then we have so much more awesome stuff for you guys coming up. Um, we've got a bunch more promo streams lined up over the next few months. We're going to have uh, some of your favorite special guests are going to be coming back on stream with us over the next couple months. Uh, so definitely look out for announcements for that. Um, you know, I, I think we can pretty much uh, guarantee that in the short term, uh, we are going to have a giveaway every single month to kick off the year uh, for the foreseeable future. At least one giveaway, possibly more. Uh, so make sure that you definitely tune in, stick around. Um, we're going to be working out ways to do something special for subs as far as that concern. Details TBA. Um, but we love you guys. We love the support that you show the stream. And we want to give back to you, our amazing community, uh, by providing great content and giving you a chance to win free stuff. Uh, so 2018 is going to be an incredible yeah, year. Mm -hmm. uh, we are so excited. We are, we're gonna have collab streams. We're definitely gonna find a time to reschedule our uh, secret Hitler stream that we wanted to do. Uh, that's gonna happen at some point in the next couple months. Uh, it's just gonna be so many amazing things. Uh, and of course, this coming Sunday will be the return of Tilted Dragons. Dragons. Do you wanna talk about that a little bit, Joel? Where are we picking up with, because it's been like almost, it's what? Been three, yeah. It's been oh, wow. almost a month. Yeah, I uh, mean, because we had the holiday break. So, like, uh, do you want to talk a little bit about like where the story is picking up? Where where did our heroes leave off? Oh, geez, where did our heroes leave off? The last one was like, oh, I, I wrote that session. That's right. <laughs> I was like, you were the DM. You are the the reigning authority. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. So we had uh, our heroes. I believe they had successfully uh, located the legendary bard was asked for uh, by the genie that brought uh, our friend Flower back from the dead. Uh, and I suppose the next uh, part of the story will be delivering him to said genie. Uh, and who knows uh, where that could go. We'll have <laughs> our DM, Fiacra. I mean, that's that's not up to me. That is up to our regular DM. Oh, yeah, so uh, you're, you're back as a player. I will be yeah. back as a player, because Fael has been out of the loop for a little while. So he, um, he, he ran the side quest of going to get the bard. Uh, but the side quest was triggered by John's mm -hmm. regular plot. Got it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's kind of, for those of you who are who are unfamiliar with Tilted Dragons, that's kind of how our format works uh, with this West Parchers campaign, mm -hmm. is, uh, you know, we have Fiacra as the GM for the entire world. He runs most of the sessions, uh, but because of the way that it's set up, we have the ability to have someone like LHG come in and be uh, a guest DM for a session or two um, and just jump in and run a storyline, and it's very easy to link it back and forth, right? Like, you know, uh, Fiacra just had one of his NPCs say, you need to go complete this mission for this thing that you asked me to do, and that gives an opportunity for another GM to come in and run mm -hmm. that story. Um, you know, I think Tilted Dragons is also going to have another great year. You know, last year was really just about getting it off the ground, figuring out the format that we want to work, getting comfortable mm -hmm. with the characters. Uh, so I'm super excited for this year. I'm super excited for us uh, having the opportunity to bring on more uh, guest GMs and um, possibly even mm -hmm. guest players um, because, you know, it really... Uh, from from week to week, or at least you know month to month, uh, you know we the the whole story is set up to be able to swap out characters. Uh, so definitely make sure you tune in and uh, catch up with Tilted Dragons because I think 2018 is going to be a great year for that segment as well. So yeah, stay tuned for the surprises to come. Please do check out Tilted Dragons this Sunday at 4 p.m. Pacific. Um, and then you can catch us again next week, Wednesday at uh, 7 p.m. Pacific, when we will do our Salvation Road stream and giveaway. And we'll uh, keep teasing that on Twitter this week. Yes. Please tell your friends, especially if they've been interested in that game. Yep. <laughs> Make sure to follow on here and follow on Twitter at Tilted Tabletop if you want to find out uh, when we are going live and what is coming up in the coming weeks, because this is going to be a blockbuster year, and we are excited to share it all with you. Cool. Thanks, guys. We are going to head out. We know it's a little early, but I'm sure you can... Uh, 
We're giving you pop, time back. You can pop over to Overwatch. Um, Should we raid someone? Yeah, I was just gonna say. Let's see who's uh, let's see who's around that we can raid. Um, Maybe I'll join the raid. I got my computer on. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, play, playing board games is doing Gloomhaven, is that what you saw? Oh, sweet, yeah. yes. That sounds perfect. All right. Um, playing board games. Yeah. Yeah. It moved on me. <laughs> Great. So we're going to put this in chat for you guys. Uh, we hope you go check them out, and we will see you next week. Make, make sure to uh, put our raid message in the chat. Uh, feel free to do Twitch Raid or Board G Fail if you are a sub. Um, tilted Raid. Yes. Uh, Just copy past the... Yeah, I'm... <laughs> Just gotta have that on the clipboard at all times. I know, right? So... Make sure to copy this when you go over there, and uh, we will see you guys next time. Thank you so much, and we look forward to an amazing, amazing 2018. We'll see you Sunday and next week. Yeah. I hope you all have a good evening. Good night. It says leave.